So in our previous video we created this post-process material that allows you to highlight characters behind a wall. But the question someone was asking is how do I turn this on and off inside the game? So we're going to look at how we can do that while we're playing the actual game. So the way that we're currently creating this effect is we're using a post-process volume which is in the level and then in its materials we are adding a post-process material material in its material array that means that the effect is then active even in the editor and while we're playing the game and the way that the effect works is that on each of the characters we go we are using the custom depth rendering custom depth and giving it a custom depth value so there are a few ways that we could control the effect we could one keep a reference to the post process volume and then just change the materials are added to its array two we could send an interface call to each of these characters and tell them to turn its custom depth to rendering custom depth on and off but there is a better way of doing this using the actual first actual player character and the camera so what we'll do is first of all in the post process volume we'll get rid of the the material that post process material we're using we won't change anything on these characters so we'll continue to let them to be rendered in the custom depth pass if we go to our first person character which is the character we're using if you go to the camera what you notice is that there is also a and post process materials available on the camera so in the post process there is a post process materials and you can add materials to the actual post process camera itself so what we'll do is say if we want to turn this on and off we'll just do this we'll just use a debug so we'll say debug key one in this case we'll do a flip-flop because we want to flip between two different states and if we get the camera and we say get post process settings from here we can in the post process settings we can say set post process settings actually we don't want this we want to say set set members in post process settings from here we can we click on the actual node itself and look across at the details you can then click what you want to be which variables you want to change so if we just search for materials we can click on the post process material now this pin is exposed and we can say make make this which gives us an array and from the array we can say make array and from this which is another structure we can say make weighted blendable we can then say we can then find our highlight material give it a weight of one and we could say on when we first press it we should show the material and when we press it the second time we can just say set members here again search for materials once you've clicked on the node click on that and we can just leave that empty in this case 
So if we then go back to our main level and we play, so to begin with there's no highlight. If I press 1 it shows the highlight and if I press 1 again it turns it off. So we're using the post-process materials on the camera itself rather than on a post-process volume which encompasses the entire level. You could also do it slightly differently in the case that you can add the material directly to the camera. So search for materials, post-process materials, add asset reference and choose the PPM highlight. I just disconnect this, compile. So now when we play, by default it's shown straight away. And if we wanted to turn that off, what we can do is if we just disconnect this and this, move that up slightly, we get our first person camera. You can just then say set post process blend weight. So the default blend weight is one. We could say if it's off to begin with, we can turn it on. And if it's on, we can just say put it to zero. And if we just go back to our material here, so if we set this to zero to begin with, nothing should show. So it's not showing, I press one. Now that won't work straight out of the box and the issue is that when we're changing these numbers we're not necessarily changing this but rather the total blend. So to get this to work we'd probably have to leave this as one and then just copy that and on begin play we can just turn it off to begin with. Now when we go back and play, so it's off to begin with, I press one, it turns on, I press one again, it turns off. So in terms of controlling the post-process effects that you want to turn on and off, it's probably easier to add it to whichever camera is the current view target and then either you can ac you can ac from the camera you can get the post process settings and you could say set members and you can set the high set however many post process materials you want to set with a blend weight and then remove them when you want to remove that effect or you can just add it directly on the camera on the post process materials and turn it on and off as a whole using the blend weight numbers so i hope that shows you how you can turn turn these effects on and off while you're playing your your game